Assalamu alaikum dear students I am your math teacher for class 7 we have already done exercise number 8.1 in the previous lecture today I am going to start our new exercise exercise number 8.2 now open your math book page number 121 we will do question number 1 2 in these three questions we are using these formulas a is amount of principal p p is principal r is rate of interest per annum t is time in years in your math see copy draw margin line mention date exercise number page number firstly we write the question question number one Calculate the compound interest on rupees 1800 for 6 years at 10% per annum. We have to find compound interest on rupees 1800 for 6 years at 10% per annum. We are going to learn how to find compound interest by using formula. Give heading data. This is the principle which is given in the question. Principal is rupees 1800. So we write P is equals to 1800 this is the time which is given in the question time is 6 years so we write t is equals to 6 years rate percent is 10 so we write r is equals to 10 percent compound interest is equals to question mark give heading formula the formula of compound interest is compound interest is equals to amount minus principal to find compound interest we need to see if we have amount or principal given or not in this question principal is given but amount is not given so in data we write amount is equal to question mark the formula of amount is amount is equal to principal 1 plus r over 100 raised to power t give heading solution rewrite the formula of amount amount is equal to principal is rupees 1800 so we write 1800 1 is constant so we write 1 as it is plus rate rate percent is 10 when we change person into 100 when we change person into simplest form we need to divide it by 100 but 100 is already given in formula so we write 10 upon 100 time is 6 years so we write 6 in this step we take LCM in the bracket if we don't have any denom any denominator so we suppose 1 amount is equals to 1800 tough work one and hundred two one as it is two ones are two two twos are four two threes are six two fours are eight two fives are ten five zero as it is two one as it is two ones are two two twos are four two one borrow on zero makes ten 
टू वन जो टू 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 जो फोर टू थ्री जो सिक्स टू फोर जो एट टू फाइव जो टेन फाइव वन एज इट इज फाइव फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव वन एज इट इज फाइव वन जो फाइव वी मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द फैक्टर्स ऑफ वन एंड हंड्रेड टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव मेक्स हंड्रेड We take first fraction and multiply it with the answer of LCM. One upon one, the answer of LCM is hundred. So we write hundred. Hundred ones are hundred. For second fraction, we multiply it with the answer of LCM. Ten upon Hundred multiply by hundred. Hundred ones are hundred. Hundred ones are hundred. Ten ones are ten. The answer of LCM is hundred, so we put hundred in denominator. The answer of one over one is hundred, so we put hundred in numerator. Plus, the answer of ten over hundred is ten, so we put ten in numerator. Whole raised to power six. Amount is equals to eighteen hundred. Hundred plus ten makes one hundred ten. So we write. One hundred ten over hundred whole raised to power six zero cancel with zero amount is equals to eighteen hundred and it becomes eleven over ten so we write eleven over ten. Whole raised to power six. After solving this, this gets this gets multiplied six times. So amount is equals to eighteen hundred multiplied by eleven over ten multiplied by eleven. Over ten multiply by eleven 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 over ten. Zero cancel with zero. Zero cancel with zero. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two fives are ten. Two sixes are twelve. Two sevens are fourteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two nines are eighteen. Amount. Is equals to nine. Multiply eleven. Multiply by eleven makes one hundred twenty-one. So we write one hundred twenty-one. Eleven multiply by eleven makes one hundred twenty-one. So we write one hundred twenty-one. Eleven multiply by eleven makes one hundred twenty-one. So we write one hundred twenty-one. Upon Ten multiplied by ten multiplied by ten makes thousand. Five multiplied by thousand
अमाउंट इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन मेक्स फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन सो वी राइट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय थाउजेंड मेक्स फाइव थाउजेंड सो वी राइट फाइव थाउजेंड अमाउंट इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन मेक्स सेवेंटीन लैक्स सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वन सो वी राइट सेवेंटीन लैक सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वन अपॉन फाइव थाउजेंड वन करोड़ फिफ्टी नाइन लैक फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर्टी नाइन सो अमाउंट इज इक्वल्स टू वन करोड़ फिफ्टी नाइन लैक फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर्टी नाइन ओवर फाइव थाउजेंड वन करोड़ फिफ्टी नाइन लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव थाउजेंड मेक्स थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एटी एट पॉइंट एट जीरो नाइन एट सो सो द अमाउंट Now we find compound interest. Rewrite the formula of compound interest. Compound interest is equals to amount minus principal. Compound interest is equals to amount is rupees three thousand one hundred eighty eight point eight zero nine eight. So we write three thousand one hundred eighty eight. Point eight zero nine eight minus principal is rupees eighteen hundred. So we write eighteen hundred three thousand one hundred eighty eight point eight zero nine eight minus eighteen hundred makes. One thousand three hundred eighty-eight point eight zero nine nine eight. So we write. So compound interest is rupees one thousand three hundred eighty-eight point eight zero nine eight. Its answer. Question number two. Do this question by yourself. This is the end of today's lecture. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.